In 1601, English poet John Donne wrote, Nature's great masterpiece, an elephant, the only harmless great thing, the giant of beasts. Elephants have fascinated man through the ages. They have been used as symbols of wisdom and power. They have featured in myths and religions and appeared in art and literature. Their images appear on coins, in sculptures and paintings, in folklore and nursery tales. They are part of man's culture, representing prudence, constancy and strength. Their intelligence and memory is recognized along with their gentle nature. Their social organization is highly developed and their lives show remarkable parallels with our own. In spite of all this, they have been persecuted relentlessly by man. From the time of the Egyptian pharaohs, man has exploited the elephant for its ivory, threatening its existence in many parts of the African continent. Man has ravaged its habitat and recently renewed the slaughter of elephants to provide ivory to a newly affluent Chinese middle class who see it as a traditional symbol of wealth and status. Last year, an estimated 24 tons of illegal ivory was seized. This equates to around two and a half thousand elephants. WWF estimated that 12,000 are being killed each year for their ivory, mostly in Central Africa. The slaughter is the highest in more than two decades. This year will almost certainly be worse. Why should we care about what is happening to elephants? Few people get to see an elephant in the wild. Like the people of Europe in the 1800s, the people in China who buy the carved ivory trinkets probably never give a thought for the origin of their purchase. Would it make a difference if they could see this great intelligent complex animal with its intricate social system and family loyalties? Would they acknowledge that we have no right to persecute the elephant and would they accept that it too has a right to walk the earth?